G'day roosters, how do you calculate structural bolt lengths for ordering on a steel framing job? Well if you typed in calculate bolt length in Google you'll get some sort of formula pop up, that often happens. You see similar types of formula in codes and standards all around the world to calculate the length of a bolt. Uh, now that's a long and slow way of doing things to work it out for each situation you have for bolting. Now the other way is you could go to um, a place like uh, blocks.draftsperson.net and download uh, some of the bolts here, say the M21, and then you could draw it and then you could calculate the length and measure it and that would be a way of doing it too. But all those are really slow ways of doing it. How can you do it quicker? Well the best way to do it is have a ready reckoner or a chart and there is one here at blog.draftsperson.net calculate structural metric bolt lengths just type something like that into Google and it pops up. So this is principally a guide for the Australian steel fabrication industry but um, I've seen bolts all around the world and they're all pretty similar so the principles probably apply in all, co all countries in some way or some shape or form. Now in this chart we've got the size on the left, M12 through to M36. Now M12, uh, you'd see that in lighter applications for holding on uh, cold rolled purlins and cold rolled girts. M16, uh, cleats and brackets, it is a structural size but it's more of the uh, lighter structural loading. Now the M20 is where the party's at. That is the M20 grade 8.8 .8 is the main structural bolt. You see that everywhere. If you're in doubt, just go to that. That's the, the go-to standard. Uh, then we've got the M24, M30 and M36, the heavier bolts used for hold down bolts and uh, higher loading applications. Now there's two grades of bolts. There's the 4.6, the lighter grade, and the high strength grade 8.8. .8. Now the 4.6, it is defined in AS1111, which shows that it's a low carbon steel and it has mechanical properties similar to that of a grade 250 material, which is a long way of saying you can weld to it a bit without really destroying its strength properties. Whereas the 8.8 .8 grade is a heat treated, quenched and tempered medium carbon steel. So highly, no engineers like seeing bolts welded there because it can really, on the 8.8, .8, it can really reduce its strength grade. 8.8 .8 is defined in AS uh, 1252. So how does this chart work? Well, let's focus on the M20 and the grade 8.8. .8. So the M20 grade 8.8 .8 snug fit is the go-to structural bolt. Now we've got a number in here that says 31. If we look down here at the chart, it tells you how to calculate this. So we've got a grip here. Now let's just imagine there's two 10 mil thick plates there, 10 millimeter thick plates. So there's 20 overall is the grip. That's a really common structural size too, a 10 thick plate. So 20 mil millimeters add to, from the chart 31, that gives us 51. Now to that, we round up to the nearest five. So make it 55 long. Now 50 would probably work, but 55 is the one to go for. So that's a quick way of how you can calculate bolt lengths for ordering. Now of course calculating the correct bolt length is important because you definitely don't want this sink situation to happen where you've got two or three threads short. It's actually not engaging the bolt correctly and structural engineers have a fit when they see that on site. So calculate bolt lengths which is from the head here to that point there.